Like, do we, what, do we need, like, a theme song or something? I don't think so. I, I think if you just introduce it, that's fine. I'm going to do is a theme song right now. Oh, go on, then. It goes like this. It goes, Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
I'm so you're the worst bit in the Avengers Age of Ultron for you was the fact that you didn't pay attention. It ended, <laughs> it ended on a cliffhanger, mate. <laughs> Some actual good bits and bad bits for me. I really like the vision in it. Do you know the guy with the, the gem in his head? Oh, yeah, that was pretty sick, actually. One problem I have with the vision is, isn't Thanos the big evil guy going around trying to get all of them? What? So why is he going to get this gem out of this guy's head? How's that going to happen? Well, he's probably just going to kill him, mate. Old Jemhead over here. <laughs> I, what's he gonna, he's literally just going to go over to him. He can't kill him. He's only just came in. Well, do you just pop it like a zit, mate? You know, like, like, a, like a little, like a little spot. A zit. A zit. Hold mate. on. <laughs> Where are we in the world? We're in England. I'm not having that you call it a zit. It's a spot. So he's going to have to take this zit out of his head anyway. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to do it. And then, but I quite liked him when he picked up Thor's hammer. That was pretty cool. Like this cool cape. Yeah, that I liked nice. all that stuff. One bit I didn't like was out of the blue. Airship, where just airship out the blue. Yeah, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> where does airship come from? Also, if someone flies a giant island up it thousands of feet into the sky hmm. and then drops it back down to fucking earth, that causes earthquakes. That's how the dinosaurs died, mate. We would all be gone. Not a single one of us would be left alive. And then Iron Man just there like that went well. Go fuck yourself, Iron Man. I'm um, get over it. <laughs> I'm filming a podcast, and you just fucking killed me. You do better at your job. You fucking killed me, Iron Man, you little bellend. Absolutely outrageous. Captain America as well. Still think he's kind of useless. He's got a shield. He's got the shield, mate. That's all he needs. Yeah, but he's got... Give him a gun. He could probably shoot harder than he can punch. He'd probably do a bit more damage. Yeah. How does, how does it work? The shield as well. He's got that one rule, though, hasn't he? Or is that Batman? I don't know. Disappointed that you don't know as Batman. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, anyway, mate, would you go see this film again? I think I'd need to go see it again because apparently <laughs> I don't remember the half of that bullshit. I actually don't think you saw it once, <laughs> let alone need to see it again. I read a I read a brief synopsis before the podcast. <laughs> I would. I think it was worse than the first one, but I think I'd see it again if it was on TV. I wouldn't go out my way to go see it. Yeah, I, rem- I remember coming out of the cinema for the um, first one and going. Yeah, that was, that was class that I'll probably watch that again. But the second one, I was like, so are we going Burger King after this? Or? <laughs> it's all about the Burger King when you're in cinema. Well, so um, that was that, mate. That was pretty good. Well, ba- should we do one ba- more film? Should we yeah, do a not? few more films? All right, well, next one. Let's go straight into an even bigger film. We saw this one pretty recently, so you should know a few things. Oh, Star Wars. Never seen it, mate. Never seen Star it. Star Wars, mate. <laughs> Brand spanking new film. Came out in 2015. What did you think of the Phantom Menace? What? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah! Oh, hey! you see, <laughs> well, it's a great standalone film. Um, together with the trilogy, not too great. Um, <laughs> no, but if it, if it is the brand new Star Wars, oh, absolutely top notch. I mean, some of the best bits were obviously that there was some spot on funny bits, like just straight from the start, the guy going so. Do I talk first? Or? <laughs> yeah, that was a good bit. I thought it really like set the tone for what was going to happen in the whole film. Yeah, like this this is the new Han Solo. He's going to sort us out. Poe Dameron, he's there. We're going to follow his story. Oh no, he's fucked off. Where's oh, he gone? Oh, oh no, he's dead. Oh no, he's back. He's back. Oh, we pulled the double fake on you. <laughs> and then wait, he's just flying around. He's doing whatever. How did he survive? And his jacket came off. That's one thing that winds me up. He survived his explosion, but his jacket came off. Perfectly intact for someone to steal. Yeah, I didn't like he went, that. He basically was lying there and there and he went, oh, I need to die. But I'm a bit hot. I'll take this jacket off. I'll yeah. leave it here. It's there's, a nice jacket. There's a little bit of a bromance going on between him and Finn as well. Like when he's like, hey, that's my jacket. Actually, it looks good on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> from the lab bit of a top man or whatever. <laughs> I really liked as well in that film. One of the best bits for me was. R2 D2 2. Basically, whatever his name was, BB 8. BB 8. Uh, whatever his name was, and then you instantly remember it. Remember his exact code, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I might have I might have a poster of it on mute wall. Doesn't matter. It's a big film. I really liked him. I thought he was the good comic relief in it, the bit with the, the lighter, lighter all yeah. that stuff. I mean, the whole point of him having the little piece of information in his brain, I thought that was a really good thing until you realised that R2 D2 had fuck loads more of him. <laughs> R2-D2 <laughs> had the whole map, but he was just having a fucking cat No nap. one was asked about him at all. They were like, well, this other guy's got a tiny little bit. 
Also, as well, if there's a giant map of space and there's one bit missing, he's if there. You give me, if yeah, you give me a giant map of the world and you cut out Africa, I'd go, that bit's Africa right there. It's probably in there somewhere. Outrageous. <laughs> Do you know what has always annoyed me about the Star Wars films as well? Like, I went, I was watching The Empire Strikes Back the other day, and he goes, Yoda's in the Dagobah system. And so he goes to Dagobah, which is a full fucking planet, by the way, mm. and he goes, all right, I'm trying to go down and see Yoda. He doesn't know where on the planet he is. He's... He just he just parks down in Tenerife, and he could be in Zimbabwe for all you know. You having a clue? Outrageous. But he's right there, obviously, because you know, he's, he's, got, he's got the force, mate, that's it. He just knows. You can't just say he's got the force. He's got the force, mate. That's how it works. <laughs> I wish that was how it works. But no, it doesn't work like that. It actually kind of does work like that. I mean, there is, a, there is a lot of other good bits in that, but we'll try and get, get to the worst bits as well. Um, one, of, <laughs> one of the worst bits for me was when she was like, walking up like the Isle of Man or wherever <laughs> she was fucking walking up to you to get to Luke. That was <laughs> pissing me right off that. She's yeah. like that. Absolutely rock climbing. He could have just come down and seen her, surely. He could have. All and... that time he's been there as well. What's he been eating? If you say the force, I swear God, <laughs> I'll do you in. He's been eating nothing. He's been drinking salt water and been stood up there waiting. And he it. looks no better for it as well. He's not lost a, lost a pound. But the actual actor lost a lot of weight for it. And all he, had, he was like, oh, I need to go lose at least, I don't know, 15 stone. So I can be on there for exactly as many seconds as I've lost stone. 15 stone for 15 seconds. And I bet he got paid 15 mil just to keep it nice and round. When she was walking up that mountain, though, I was like, oh, we're set in for another 30 minutes here. We're going to have a little rocky montage here. She's going to run up these steps in a second. Yeah. And then she just goes, here's your lightsaber. It doesn't say anything. How awkward would that be for Luke? He was just waiting for her to make the first move. <laughs> yeah, that, p- that pissed me right off that. It. You need Poe in there to go, who should speak first? That's what you need to say. <laughs> no, because it was kind of like, if the music wasn't there, it's just she's awkwardly standing there with a lightsaber. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> what's going on here, guys? <laughs> I liked all that with the lightsaber, though, where she found his lightsaber. I like that it was a girl as well. I didn't really see that coming. Like, she was good. I thought, because of all this, like, the trailers, yeah. he was going to be the big dude. And I thought, it's because he's black, it's going to be... The new thing, but the, the double fake does seem like it's going to be a black guy. Yeah, they, they, that's two again, double uh, fakes they pulled on us. On the double fakes in this, I thought that was really good. Yeah. Did I mention that I like BB-8, mate? He was a, he was a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, Han Solo, what did you think about Han Solo, though? Han Solo dying was literally, oh, so obvious. I'll be <laughs> <laughs> As if they're going to, like, try and keep him on. He's like 80, isn't he? He's at least 93. At least 8, 97. I don't know how old he is. But, I, yeah, obviously he was going to die. Just You could see it come when he... What, do you know, if I've learned anything from watching all Star Wars films, never walk across a bridge with no handrails. People like to chop you in half or chop your hands off and push you down there. It's just <laughs> a... a Why? I mean, that the Death Star was more of a health and safety risk than anything else. It's very it's, flawed, isn't it? <laughs> really is very flawed. I mean, an exhaust port, port, for God's sake. Just a bit of cardboard over it. You've covered yourself there. Would Not you, a big deal. Would you really complain, though, about like there being no no railings? I mean, well, I'd rather risk death than be actually dead. Fucking well, Kylo Ren choking me out. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely choke you out. You know what he's into, mate? Kylo Ren when he's in the bedroom, you know? Yeah, he'd choke you out and then go, that's a really good idea, actually. It's <laughs> not very safe. <laughs> Darth Vader did do the right thing every single time. Yeah, I like it, Kylo Ren. He's, a, he's like that poor in a cereal. Like, he chose between two cereals. He's like, did I do the right thing, father? <laughs> Grandfather. Kylo Ren, though, for me, didn't have enough mask commitment. Yeah, he, he took it off too took soon. took it off well too early. He was just like, why? why are you wearing it if you'll show anyone your face, Kylo? For God's sake, what, keep the mystique up. You're trying to be Darth Vader. He didn't take it off until he was nearly dead. I didn't know he wasn't an android for three films. <laughs> We're not talking about the old films. I'm not I'm not mentioning Anakin Skywalker in a sand speech. That is not getting discussed until I've, until we're a few, 300 episodes in and I've maybe ground down to what I talk about here. But it for didn't... now... We'll talk about how Kylo Ren was also a semi-bitchy moany guy. Yeah, he was a bit of a bitch, wasn't he, actually, thinking about it. He was a bit of a bitch, yeah. 
crying to oh. his granddad. Oh, pussy, help me. Pussy. Help me, please. Just shut up and get on with the film. Chewy, oh, how good was the bit where he kept, like, hitting himself as well? Oh, where he's, like, kicking off? Yeah. Yeah, where... <laughs> <laughs> when he's kicking off and then the stormtroopers like sort of back away that was <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was all pretty good space and i thought as well when he was having the fight scene in the in like the jungle with what was her name ray um ray i think yeah rin tin tin whatever her name was <laughs> when like she like you saw the lightsaber wobble like in the old film as well and you sort of fly towards her i thought luke's gonna be there and he's gonna tear some some new assholes yeah i don't know how many assholes he's gonna tear but there's going to be at least two on the resume. And not, and then it was her, and she just decided that she could learn the force in one afternoon, even <laughs> though people were training for it the whole lives. Didn't really care. She just kind of was like, ah. Uh, fuck it, I've got... When you've got the talent, no, man, she's been um, doing street force in Argentina. Like, <laughs> street force. A bit like Messi with footy. <laughs> well, anyway, mate, would you, would you see uh, Star Wars The Phantom Menace again? <laughs> I yeah. definitely have seen The Phantom Menace again. <laughs> but would you see Star Wars The Force Awakens again? I have seen the St- Star Wars Force Awakens again. Actually. You have, haven't you? Yeah. Twice actually in the cinema, mate. Yeah. Twice in the cinema. I'm st- I want to go back as well. Would you go watch it a third time then? I've got to, I guess we've got to ask. Uh, are you just asking me to go come to the cinema at this point? Basically, do you want to go to the cinema with me to watch this film again? Are we going right now? Or <laughs> There's layers show, to yeah. it, probably. There's probably layers to it. We could go find them. I don't know if there is. I've only seen it once, mate. Come help me. We'll go watch it again together. Yeah, I would. I, in fairness, I probably would watch it a third time as well. It, it was really good. It was good. That How was about good. Yourself, mate? I'll move to the next one as well. I would definitely go see it at least five or six times. I want to be one of those guys that's seen it so many times you get in like, the newspaper for it. Like, fat Derek, he's been in, he's been to go see Star Wars 614 <laughs> times. I want to be that guy. Fat Derek. <laughs> it's, always a, it's always a Derek. They're always up to no good these days. <laughs> Just these Derek's have been absolute. Just... Star well, Wars fanatics and fat, so got to be fat. The guys that eat well, two hot dogs in a film. Oh, I don't, don't get me started on the hot dog eating. <laughs> but what would De- what did Derek also see in 2015, mate? He saw Mad Max. Mad Max. We watched this quite recently together. Yeah, we we, we did actually while we were having a um, bit of a curry night actually with the bit boys. Of a curry night with the boys. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah. So What's we. You- what did you think of the curry? <laughs> the curry, mate, it was average to poor. It was a balty. It was, <laughs> it was a balty to be sure. <laughs> I thought I, I've, I've got to say as well before we go into this, I paid so little attention to this film. I don't know what I was doing. I was, I was sleeping. I was eating. Ah, I was wanking. I don't know what I was doing, but I barely watched it. But from what I saw, what were you? At one point, you actually rubbed your dick with curry it was it was actually a fucking insane i didn't know you'd see me do that <laughs> it, it wasn't discreet at all you literally just whipped your flaccid <laughs> dick out and... <laughs> well back on topic anyway <laughs> um i feel like with mad max what it was was like watching the bits of die hard where there's an explosion but they went don't you like those bits of die hard where there's an explosion he has 50 Shall more we? of them. Yeah. He has 50 more. Shall we do a whole film with them? And yes, they definitely should have because it was quality. Every bit of it was action-packed, you little blood bag. All of it was good. Explo- what else can you say with explosions? Good bits, explosion, bad bits. He he said a few words. and He really, he really didn't bag. say much, mate. He's a man of few words, as you say. Um... Oh. How did he really get his anger across with saying so few words? He was he was more like mild tempered Max than Mad Max for me. I... Oh, he's doing his stand up over there, <laughs> isn't he? What's going on? <laughs> did you like the film though? I thought it was a bit. It lacked a bit of plot, to be honest. For me, yeah, there was no plot. The the plot of the film was explosions. Pew, 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 pew. That was the whole film. Obviously, us watching it, we were like, oh, this is pretty sick like but if i was watching it on my own i'd be like oh yeah. so this is boring <laughs> <laughs> i do, i mean okay this is a part new segment explain what happened in mad max to me <laughs> i've just added this now what was the plot of mad max i, I literally couldn't think i i know for a fact there was like a settlement where a guy wouldn't give out water yeah knew that was a thing he, he wasn't very wasteful with his water so <laughs> he had a big water bill. That's so far the plot that you know. What yes. else? 
um, like his daughter or something like that had no arm. Don't know why that was the case. Also, one thing that was never explained was that little girl that just kept popping up. Yeah, who, who, who was, was she? <laughs> who, who was she? I have no idea. She had two arms, so it definitely wasn't. Oh, it could be her before she had. No, nah, maybe. Not, maybe. maybe. Well, she was probably born with no arm a bit. But we're getting off topic. What was the plot of that film? Because I don't know either. <laughs> um, I feel like it was just Mad Max sort of taking over that <laughs> village. But <laughs> What was the plot of the film? Mad Max. <laughs> it was Mad Max, wasn't it? Mate? Hey, can Mad you Max. explain the plot any better? Because I, I think there was a guy who was really stingy with water. I mean, I mean, what happened with this girl? I kept bumping up. Yeah. <laughs> I genuinely think what happened was they were in there, they went to go get some water, they went to go get some guns and some petrol. Yeah. And then they kind of just went, fuck it, road trip. And they started bailing. I don't know where they were trying to bail to because everywhere's. Oh, I remember. They were shit. trying to. They were trying to bail to like there was this thing called like Green Hills or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but everywhere's desert. Like so when they finally got there they were like, ah oh, shit, everything's desert. Guess we've gotta go back. <laughs> How pissed off would you be though if it was just that one little bit that was desert? And they and Green Hills was just like a new suburban house built <laughs> and everywhere else in the world was the same. <laughs> it was just as it is usually and they're going absolutely nutty. She's got one mechanical arm. They turn up like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, what's been, what's been going on over there? We we sent you there for three weeks. This is where you come back like. <laughs> There's just a shit ton of mushrooms. That's what happened. They went to go try and get there. Mad Max was captured because he has blood. That was maybe the plot. I think it was because he just lived well. So he, he had like loads of blood. He was from Green Hills. Yeah. <laughs> in, yeah. in either city himself. He was... <laughs> I thought one thing that annoyed me about that film as well is when, at the very start, Stingy Water Guy, we'll call him Stingy Water King, yeah. he was really, really old and had to be helped up and then was just tearing through. <laughs> Didn't give a shit. His injuries faded. He was claiming for something. And it benefits. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Definite fraud. <laughs> yeah, there was, a, there was something going on there because at one point he was in a wheelchair, like, and then they put like a little oxygen mask on him. And he was like, "Fuck this." Yeah, I'm off, please. <laughs> the one thing though, I do have to like say props to him for is prize breeders, mate. Oh yes. Oh, Ooh, he's got mama. a good corral of prize breeders, whoever yeah. they were, and he has his favorite one as well. He's knocked up. That girl could take punishment like I've never seen. She took a bullet to the leg and stared him in the, in the eye. Didn't even flinch. She was like, fuck. And she was pregnant. And didn't even care. Literally anyone else bullet to the leg, they would have been down. She just oh. turns around like, eh, oh well. <laughs> I've got a kid That's inside right. me. Do you know what that means? Yeah, I don't that was feel pain. <laughs> and then the water is... And do you know what me as well at the very end? when they turned all the water back on and were like, water for everyone. Well, how do you know that this king guy wasn't being really good for his people because the water was running out? How do you know that you just wasted the end of the water and they're all going to die in the next week? You, you never know, mate, do you? That was the plot. It was actually called, the next film's going to be called Mad Max Political Instability. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's just like, uh, the fucking economic crisis of Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, what did you think then? Would you watch it again? I definitely wouldn't watch it again. You wouldn't watch it again? What about in like five years? Um, I'd probably watch the original one before I'd watch that one again. All right, okay, I'll give you this scenario, mate. What if you were on a plane and it was like 10 hours and this was on loop? Would you watch it again? Is there anything else on like one episode of Friends or... One episode of Friends is also on loop. Mm. It's a tough one. <laughs> It's definitely a tough one. <laughs> uh, what well, the... I Joey what... saying, like, hey, <laughs> the same friends. <laughs> oh, how you doing? Jo or you have explosions. <laughs> Two hours. Is Joey not sharing his food on this episode, though? Joey doesn't share food. Mm. Joey never shares food. Yeah. What would you choose? It's got to be friends, mate. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I guess that's the new criteria. Would you watch one episode of Friends? <laughs> Back to back over this film instead. It, it depends which episode it was. Was if it was like a a long episode, like an hour one. 
when is that ever... we're not getting onto a discussion of how long the runtime of friends is <laughs> not going no to if, if it, you know if it's like a two-parter or something like that one mm. that linked together i'm going through some of these films there's a few films that tom didn't see but i saw martian that was good that was funny ant-man was pretty good um, there's a few film, other films. Creed, you've not seen that one. The Hunger Games, Mocking Jay. I saw that one, and it was just a film. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a, it was a film to be sure. It, yeah. it, it cared. That happened in my life. If you, if I, if you ask me what happened, bows and arrows. That's all I can say. I don't know. But then one film that we're definitely going to talk about: the second highest grossing film of the year behind Star Wars. Dum da da dum. Amy Winehouse's document. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, it's the Phantom Menace yeah. all over again. So Jurassic World, not Park, World. What did you think? Jurassic World. Uh, remind me of the plot, mate. Go on. The plot of Jurassic World. Right. The plot so of Amy Winehouse is here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the plot of the Jurassic World was, as every, every Jurassic film goes, is we've made dinosaurs... But this time, we can control them. Oh, fuck no! We can't control them! <laughs> it's all gone wrong again! Right. <laughs> we made the exact same mistake. Oh, mate, I, I actually remember Jurassic World now, so I'll, I'll give you my best bits. Go on. Um, the dinosaurs, they were great. <laughs> <laughs> no, in fairness, the dinosaurs looked really good on this one. Um, they looked like all of the other dinosaurs I've seen in real life. Yeah, I mean... So all, I can't all the dinosaurs I've it. seen have been... Just bones, though. So, <laughs> well, actually, one point on the dinosaurs, make them feathered. I'm pretty sure everyone knows at this point dinosaurs were feathered. Hmm. Mickey's, but I guess it wouldn't be quite as scary if it was yeah, like a giant would, chicken trying to kill you. Be, yeah. Like when that thing was camouflaged and then just pops up and it's just look at that. <laughs> That'd be shit. Yeah. Now, what are your best bits? One of the best bits was where he was training them. Um, the raptors. That was pretty sick. Yeah. Because you know you could definitely do that to one of the most deadly predators ever. We can train a fucking cat, can't you? I don't All know right. how that was an argument against that. You can train you can train a dog, so <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. That's pretty much your argument there. That bit was pretty cool until they were like SEAL team raptor and they put cameras on them and they were like, We're gonna send them overseas to kill bin Laden. Yeah, we when... last up was daft. When the raptor started wearing a Bluetooth, then I was like, Far oh, fuck's sake. It's over now. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. Another good bit was just all of the product placement. That was immense. Oh, I yeah. mean, I've never felt more refreshed after seeing Chris, one of the Chris's, the big star, drinking that Pepsi. Oh, you love that oh, Pepsi, mate. Oh, that Pepsi. You could see it, it from like his a... eyes. He was like, oh, yes. It was like a... my thirst for days. <laughs> it was like a 10 second shot and drinking Pepsi. I don't even take a swig for that long. In this bottle of Pepsi, and I saw it all. It was bad. It was. What else did you like, mate? Uh, I'm just trying to think now. The bed. Oh, one of the really good bits was. I was gonna say spoiler alert, but you've already given out the um, fuck you, no, everyone fuck you. who hasn't seen yeah. this yet. Spoiler. Fuck you. Um, where the dinosaur falls over and the one in the water eats it. That that was good. Oh yeah, the that big... was always good, one, wasn't it? Because he got near the water. <laughs> yeah. So let's just go over to this water, and you're dead. <laughs> oh. Speaking of things that were bad in the film, but worst bits, as we've been known to call it, mm. in our many episodes of this set, uh, so far. Yeah. Why did the T Rex and the Raptor team up? Can you please explain <laughs> the psychology of T Rex Raptor friendship to me? Yeah. It's a bit like a cat and a dog, just the. Um... So, don't dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball, me. Don't do this. It was the force. I'm not having none of it. I'm not having none of it. They should not be friends. This is stupid. One of them, he should eat the little one and then try and scrap the other one. Or just focus on scrapping the deadly giant one that can become invisible, by the way. Yeah. Which I've never seen anything do in my life. A cuttlefish, my ass. This doesn't happen. <laughs> that, I, that was one of the worst bits for me. You know, they were just like, so, um... Yeah, we mixed together a T-Rex, a frog, you know, just a fish. and Basically, you can do all the shit that was good about those animals. So, um, yeah, the T-Rex is now invisible. Um, so, unlucky. The favorite part of it as well was that they only reveal one thing at a time so that you'd keep being shocked. It was just like a new plot device. Yeah. Like, no matter what it was, I, I swear in the next film, it's going to climb out of that thing's stomach and it's just going to be like, oh, I forgot. 
we also did, mixed it with a pigeon and it's just got giant <laughs> wings and just starts bombing off. It does not care about everything at all. Definitely gonna happen. Yeah, we we also give it the uh, TM F two or whatever it was called. <laughs> <laughs> it can now fly. It can now fly. Also, mate, do you know when dinosaurs scary, right? Yeah. Well, fear no longer. I'll get you a pair of high heels and you can outrun it. What? Yeah, that was total bullshit. <laughs> she just like she holds two flares in a red heels which she wore through the swamp, through the forest. Through a dinosaur park. Take them off. Combat it was heels, mate. a shoe shop. It was a shop for everything there. Com- oh, combat heels. <laughs> seeing, how, seeing how it doesn't uh, seem so, yeah, seem so ridiculous so now I've said combat heels. <laughs> 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 the thing is, though, all I've moaned about it being invisible, that bit where it became not invisible again, where they were like, oh my God, if it can be invisible. I was like, that is... That was a good bit. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a good bit, but then when you think about it later, it's like, oh yeah, that could never happen. <laughs> Do you know, one of the guys in it as well definitely had. I don't know what he surely had one of my favorite like credits at the very end because you know the guy who when you first see the Indominus Rex, I'm pretty sure that was what it was called. Yeah, and it eats that one guy. I'm pretty sure at the end of the film in the credits it was like Tom Johnson, fat guy who gets eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Uh, what? Man, imagine going home to like your mum and dad. Yeah, uh, so as part of Jurassic World, I had quite a big part. I was the first guy to get eaten. So <laughs> the first fat guy to get eaten. Wait, wait, Dad. What have they put in the credits? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, all right, then, mate. Would you watch this Jurassic World, or would you watch one episode of Friends on a loop for ten hours? Weirdly, I'd probably watch um, this. I did actually really enjoy that um, Jurassic World. I thought it was good, apart from our one friend thinking he was funny the whole way through it. Oh, yeah. No, he was doing a stand-up while we were watching that. Oh, he was. I swear he came in the day earlier and wrote notes just so he could try and make us laugh. <laughs> but I was furious with him. But that's something else anyway. I say we squeeze one more in because there's one other big film this year. Well, last year then, because it's 2016 now. And it was James Bond Spectre. Spectre. I can't remember the what's the theme tune. It was probably like at the spectrum. <laughs> at the spectre. <laughs> when we spectre. What was the what was the actual theme tune? Uh, some Swiss sang it, didn't he? Again. Oh. All right, give me a second. I'll if you just right, you just make weird amusing noises. Nom nom I... nom. That wasn't weird or amusing. That was probably the actual song to Spectre. I'm gonna play it and. I'll sing it. I'm gosh. I'm sure now I've done this. It's got like a thirty second intro of nothing. Yeah, I was so right. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing there. Not a sniff. It's all the writings on the wall, mate. All right. I'm skipping in. Go. Cool. Wait, here we go. It starts like this. I've been here before. So <laughs> there you go. That's how it goes. No, no. Okay, keep going. Keep going. All right. Oh, but always here, but he always hit the floor. Oh, come on, Sam Smith, get it. Yeah, get what right to it? the chorus there, Sam Smith. Could you break my heart? <laughs> what do I... I don't know the words. I'm trying to sing with Sam Smith, but it's not even a lyric video. <laughs> I've made a poor choice here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it went like anyway. So we can put where spits down to my rendition <laughs> of the theme tune. I can already go in where spits. Right, so I'll say that's the case, yeah. That's um, definitely the case. What we what give me a best bit then if you've got one. Um best bit. i I really enjoyed it like when he went downstairs at the end to to have a look at that car and James Bond had um, actually took the car. That was funny. Oh, that was good. Um, that was a good bit. Do you know what was a good bit? Batista in any film ever? Because yeah, but... he there's always the opportunity that he might Batista bomb someone. You <laughs> never know. He could <laughs> throw one out there. You do never know in fairness, because he's always know. he always plays like a big guy, doesn't he? <laughs> like, so, yeah. Like a fighter or something like that. Constantly. Yeah, he's not he's never got any big words. He should have played Mad Max for you, shouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but really, yeah. Tom Hardy didn't have shit on him. A bad bit in the film for me, was the reveal of Blofeld. Because the whole way that... What was his name? We just said this before before the start of this. 
um, Christoph Waltz or Chris... yeah, Christoph Waltz. He, he was constantly like, "I'll do it as long as I'm not going to be Blofeld." And then he was like, "No, I'm swear I'm not Blofeld." And then an hour in the film, he's like, "Little did you know." <laughs> yeah, you got me. I was <laughs> Blofeld, Blofeld all along. All along. <laughs> So annoying, and also the, the one thing that I know, another thing that I know me about and Stavro Blofeld yeah. was that he sh- he's never seen any other Bond films. <laughs> he, he he's he's not learned that you don't spend hours telling him the plan, giving him time to escape with an exploding watch. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, another bit that wound me up as well is where is it Q the guy who gives you all of the, the yeah, super yeah, yeah. where he was like. I'm not going to give you any gadgets, but here's a watch. It's dead loud. And then if you, someone said that to me, it's a dead loud watch, I'd be like, what, like a megaphone or something? I'd need a lot more explaining. Yeah, yeah. James so, Bond's boot was a bomb. <laughs> Sorry, you need to explain that a bit more to me here. Is it going to blow up on me hand? Am I going to like be the girl from Mad Max <laughs> after this goes off? Or... That's how it works. Because I, maybe there was a few emails that we didn't see back and forth, but... The James Bond email section. I'm glad that was cut out of the film. <laughs> I know. Imagine yeah. that email thread. So, Q, you didn't really explain that properly there. Would you just quickly run through that again? <laughs> that was, yeah, the car bit was good as well. The villain was, I mean, this the other villain where he was like, I'm going to take over this, the MI5s. Because... <laughs> That was the worst that, like impression. So I'm gonna take over the shit. <laughs> All right, our our new segment. What was the plot of Spectre? Spectre, mate. Um, it was basically 007 doing what he does best, foiling, foiling the bad guys, mate. So um, you yeah. <laughs> know. <laughs> it was basically Mad Max. <laughs> shit. I think the plot was he found out there was a bad guy after him. So he tried to kill him. Yeah, to be honest, a lot of people have actually com- complained about this recent one, saying it doesn't have that much story to it. But yeah, I can't. Do you know what is another thing? Another bad moment, which they've started doing in Bond films lately. He's not just a random secret agent. It's always like, and the bad guy is actually your half brother. Yeah, that that pisses so- me right off. That. Can he not just be an evil guy who wants to take down the government and not James Bond specifically? Yeah, James Bond dad for some reason that he's never seen before. He's just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Knew it was you, James, so thought I'd fuck you over for a bit. <laughs> I also like the product placement. I actually do enjoy the product placement in James Bond as opposed to Jurassic World, though, yeah. where he talks about all the cool suits, watches, and cars and stuff. Yeah. But you can always tell when it's coming. It's like... Oh, we're gonna get out of the middle of nowhere. But well, here comes a brand at like a nineteen thirties Rolls Royce, one hundred and sixty million pound convertible. <laughs> it's like send a Peugeot, mate. It's just easier. <laughs> yeah, just fucking send one of those. Um, what, what are they called? Them cabs. <laughs> oh, an Uber. Yeah, send me an Uber there. That'll be fucking grand. We don't have Ubers, do we, in England? I think they have them in like the main cities. Not like London and we, stuff like that. We might live in a main city or not, mate. We could do. We could no, not. We could not. We never know. But as James Bond films go, especially with as uh, Daniel Craig ones, I'd say it wasn't one of the best. I'd say it was all right. No. Although, I don't think I have a great opinion on um, James Bond because my favourite one was Goldeneye. And everyone seems that was because to... you liked the game on the Nintendo 64. Don't even tell me that I'm wrong. No, it genuinely wasn't. I I really like Boris for some reason. I thought Boris was a uh, Boris. You know the guy with the pen where he used to like click the pen and he was like dead horrible to Natalia. I I really enjoyed Gold Knight. <laughs> Gold Knight. Is... I remember pen clicking Boris. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking um double oh six and he went evil. Oh, was it was it that guy who always dies and things? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can't remember his name now. Um, he was Boris. Sean, Sean Bean, is it? Sean, or as uh, annoying seen as name Bean. <laughs> he should be Seen Bean, or at least or Sean Mahon. You can choose either <laughs> one, but you can't be Sean Bean. It's so frustrating. But he does. I he think he dies in that one as well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just really like the bit where he's like, "Close the door, Alec. There's a draft." And then two seconds later, he's like, "Oh, he's gone. Shit." <laughs> 
you and one other guy in like <laughs> oh, there's one guy like fucking clocking me there yeah set. <laughs> He's like, Boris is always my favourite. <laughs> I remember Boris. I remember the classics. I remember Odd Job. I remember Jaws. I remember the guy who had diamonds for skin. Whatever it diamond skin, we'll call him. Wasn't that, off, then... wasn't that off Austin Bowers' gold member? Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> 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 Whatever his name was, Scaramanga then. He was a real one. The, the guy with the golden gun. Yeah. And then there was obviously Sneak Blofeld. Which is the one in this one, and there was normal bald Blofeld. <laughs> and I like how they, like, oh, I'm not going to be Blofeld, and I'm not going to have one of those scars either. And he obviously gets one of those scars during the film, because he has to. It's just the way it works. And one other thing that really, really frustrated me about the this James Bond film in particular, because it's fresh in my memory, because yeah. I just remember this bit the other day, is there's a bit in the film, I don't know if you remember, where I can't remember how it happens, but. Fake Blofeld wasn't going to be Blofeld. Gets his goons and he captured James Bond. Yeah. And he take him to like a warehouse. And then, like, in the warehouse, James Bond dispatches these two guys. You can't see me right now, but I just did, like, a couple Kung Fu moves. Yeah, and if you saw them, I looked pretty lethal. And then, after he dispatches those guys, which no one would have known he would have dispatched, by the way, because he was, like, handcuffed with a gun pointed at his head. He then walks through this, like, system of mazes that is built for James Bond, like, with pictures everywhere, and it's like, go this way, Bond. How did Blofeld know <laughs> these two goons were going to get killed? Did he tell them that you were on a suicide mission? Sorry, I... guys, you, you're done. You're finished. It. <laughs> it's over. But that wound me up. It wound me up. <laughs> was, that, was that where they blown up the building? Yes. Yeah, it did piss me off a bit, a bit actually. <laughs> Like, so, what... if you have escaped Bond, <laughs> imagine if he hadn't escaped. What a waste of time that would have been. <laughs> <laughs> the goons was... are like, fuck this. What, are we waiting for this guy to escape? Let's just pop him in the head. Let's just kill him. Right... Why did he not just kill James Bond in a lot of films? I think it's because they want him to die in sort of like a a weird way. Like, I was I was just going to move this along, actually, but I've just remembered sort of now you just triggered me. Do you know the bit where he's getting tortured? Mm-hmm. And they say, we're going to now perforate your eardrum or your arsehole or whatever. And it's going to ruin your memory. Yeah. Tell me, please, how that ruined his memory. <laughs> I didn't, no, I think he said, I think he was like, oh, it might ruin your memory. And then it was like, oh, possibly it'll shake your brain up or something weird like that. <laughs> Unless you've got an exploding watch. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're James Bond, then it won't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happens. And another good bit in the film was that little bit with the rat. That was quite funny, I guess. Yeah, that was quite funny. That's kind of... So would you watch James Bond Spectre with Batista where he has a double-barreled gun? Or would you watch one episode of Friends? Didn't he have them, ten... weird, them, them weird um, fingernails as well? Fingernails? Oh, no, it, it was it, his thumbs had, like, metal nails on them. You're thinking of gold knight? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure. It, uh, Google that now. I'm, I'm pretty sure he had them. All right. I'm gonna Google it. Right. He had like metal <laughs> metal thumbnails or something like that because he poked no. them. He poked someone in the eye, you know, while they were at the table. Because that was a really good bit where the guy was like, "Like we need to do this," and Batista was just like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna challenge you." And then the main guy goes, "Does anyone challenge Batista?" And everyone's like, "Fuck that!" <laughs> I've typed in metal thumbs. Expect it to come up. <laughs> I don't know why. It's not here, so I'm going to count that as proof it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I actually I actually don't think he does have metal. No, he does have metal thumbs. You can see him right here. Do you actually want more? Do you think he's dead? Batista. Batista. I don't yeah. remember him dying. Do you not remember he got like that chain wrapped around his neck and he got pulled out of the car? Oh, the was that, was that the, like... Oh, I thought... What was the one with the play? Or am I thinking of a different film now? With the play? With it, went they at a play or something like that? That was the final up for me. Must have been. Must have been. That was actually the film that we're going to talk about next, the Amy Winehouse <laughs> <laughs> documentary. So, Rhea, would you watch this film or 10 hours of an episode of Friends? But I'm adding something. It's a flashback episode of Friends. Ooh. Oh, no one likes a flashback episode. You know what? I think no one would watch 10 hours of Friends. <laughs> Like one episode, <laughs> if it was like different episodes, ten hours of friends. Then well, most most of these, I'd be like, you know what, maybe. 
Um, but you've got to remember when you're watching Friends, you feel like you're with people. You 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 feel you're with your friends, mate. <laughs> what? <laughs> just go with it. Just go with it, mate. Just like no, no, no. I'm gonna stop you right there and you explain what you just said. Then what I just said was Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> the, the plot to Mad Max. <laughs> Well, you I feel like said, you're with your friends, Mad feel Max. Like with your friends. That was the tagline when they were advertising it. I feel like you were not as good as the best tagline of 2015. Pitch Perfect 2. Let's get it, pitches. I've already <laughs> forgot it. I, it's, we're back, pitches. <laughs> that that's the best part of tagline. I still haven't got to your answer, mate. Would you watch Spectre or Friends? I'll probably watch Spectre again. It was actually really good. I, the, the, only, the only gripe I've got with it, actually thinking about it is at the start where... You know where he's like running across buildings and they're all collapsing, and then he just gets up and he's fine. What? <laughs> do you know what they do at the start of the film as well? They do something that if I wrote it when I was like fourteen or younger, like eleven, I would have put in the film where they're like, "I'm James Bond. He kills everyone. He gets in a helicopter, and I'd be in the corner. And I'd just go, what if he does like a flip in the helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> what if he does a flip?" <laughs> Flips. And your English teacher would be like, fucking LJ, you've got to stop writing about James Bond. <laughs> Straight away. I'm sure you'd watch this film again. Yeah, I'd definitely um, watch that again. What about you? I, yeah, I'd definitely watch that film again. I feel like I feel like there's going to have to be another one, though, because I feel like it was kind of half a film because he didn't kill him. I feel like yeah. you probably should have killed him at the end, but maybe they're leaving it open because it's Christoph Waltz and all that. And well, I think that's probably enough films, I guess, but there's a few films that we didn't see uh, this year, mate. But I'm just going to say you've got to choose out of these three films and you have to watch one of them tonight. Tonight. Right, you've either got to watch Terminator Genesis. No. Quite renowned to be shit at this point. Yeah. Or Spongebob Surf's Up. No. no what? Why not Spongebob Surf's Up? Is it Surf's Up? Or... We are calling it that. I'm like, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not checking. No, Who cares? I'm checking. I need to know for everyone. SpongeBob. And then the last option: Would you like to watch a live-action remake of the Disney classic Peter Pan? <laughs> All good choices. Mate, I you, might add. It's it's the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. <laughs> you are kidding. <laughs> Ours is <was> better. <laughs> I'd rather watch Surf's Up than Sponge Out of Water. I yeah. definitely would. So which one would you like to watch? I'll also give you the option of a four one episode of Friends. <laughs> I guess I'll watch one episode of Friends. One episode of Friends. <laughs> Can we just discuss Friends next time? That's it. That's what we'll do next. in the next episode of this. We'll just discuss Friends. Oh, brilliant. Um, anything else? Any, anyway, yeah. mate. <laughs> Which... um, no. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. I, I don't know why I expect you to leave like a massive gap then. Um, ten minutes later. Okay, this no, is what no. I'll do. We'll end it on the start of a joke that I'll finish next week. No, because you, you won't remember Two it. rabbits walk into a bar. The first rabbit says... <laughs> <laughs>